Okay, so setup wise good. Very, very good then in terms of swing position. Okay, let's start. The drill now we've been working on now, obviously, this is the one we're going to go through another wall drill. Okay, so swinging back, feeling that right shoulder sort of staying down and under. Club working more from the inside path, showing your direction of that club going through your right forearm here. Nicely through there, okay. And then that drill where you keep practicing that. Swing through, stop, straight up, and then almost, there's a bit of an early turn there, but kind of like straight up here with that shoulder. If the shoulders, you can see a square there, and your head's back and under, there's space for your arms to do this if there's a wall there, yeah? Yeah. If your shoulders are twisted and your head's going at the wall, there's no space, and you're trying to move your head out of the way as you come up. So getting there now and then twisting through, that's a different follow-through there. That's why I said the club, when it's more in this line, is better than when it's kind of down here, where you try to sort of just save it with your hands at the last mm. second, okay? So let me get the golf ball here now. This is a good 7 iron. Good top of the back swing. Maybe a little bit low and flat. We maybe sort of, that's because sometimes where the club does bottom out a bit early, okay? But coming back into a good spot there. See your right shoulders under. You see the initial start line there. Ball hitting just right at the screen. And a nice little draw down your target. This again was that through that was actually flushed. Same kind of feeling now with the lower half. Club coming down through your right forearm there. Nicely the club, as you can see, sort of at the top left there. So that is good. Club coming down through the green line. Awesome strike there. We go back to the frame there. Gap now. Shoulders, as you can say, a lot more square. Some of the ones, when they're really extreme like that and you hit the ground behind, oops, sorry, hit the, ground behind the ball here and it does that, yeah. it may be that you sort of got underneath too much and not shifted your weight. You just bombed mm. that a bit early, hit the ground back then, it caused a bit of a hooky one. The ones that are reasonable strikes that just do this to the left are probably more your right shoulder. Yeah. So base it on how good have you struck. If you struck it okay and it starts left and keeps going left, it potentially be a bit of your right shoulder, could be a bit of your hands up. If it's a really bad strike back here, it's not your shoulder, okay? So if you really drop one and, oh, and snap hook it way left, okay, mm. that's usually just falling back under here, not really shifting your weight. Club's too far behind you, yeah. and you just bottomed out way, way early, okay? But this through there was a, one to save. I mean, okay, that last one there was, a, was better, zero side mm. spin, 13-degree launch. That's just perfect numbers there, to be fair, mate, okay? But this one here was good. You can see the club there, though, it's a follow-through there on the angle. Yeah. It's not bad. I'm just saying that's a different angle of what you've gotten used to, okay? So, as you can see, the goal shot there, mate. No, straight the flag there. Lovely shot. Nice little draw. Perfect. Okay, but that, for me, is one of the best impact positions you're getting into there. Yeah. I'd work on that wall drill, get that sensation of working that club up the wall, kind of there and up, okay? Your arms just fold up, then your body turns. And there's your club face. Okay, mate? Lovely. Make sense? Yeah. Very, very good, mate.